Our first snowstorm is in the rearview mirror, and winter is still ahead of us. Jacob Morris explains how temperatures in the Pacific Ocean could impact what happens here in the coming months. La Nina, with cooler ocean temperatures in the equatorial Pacific, was in place for the past three seasons, playing a role in our very cold and snowy winter last year. But we're flipping the script to a strong El Nino this winter, as ocean temperatures off the coast of South America are well above normal. The warmer waters influence jet stream patterns and how weather systems move, usually leading to a wetter winter across the southern U.S. and a warmer winter for the Pacific Northwest and Northern Plains. That doesn't mean there won't be any cold snaps, but Arctic air will likely have fewer opportunities to spill down into our region with the polar jet stream overall farther north and east. The outlooks as we transition into the winter months and even throughout the season show the signal for above normal temperatures as a whole. For precipitation and snowfall, the correlation with El Nino is not as strong. A repeat of last winter when some saw record-breaking snowfall is not likely, with around to below average snowfall the likely outcome this year. Normal seasonal snowfall is about 50 inches, with the outlook showing a slight signal for below normal precipitation in the first portion of winter and then near normal amounts later on. Past strong to very strong El Ninos include the winters of 2015 to 2016, 1997 to 98, which followed a historic snow season like this winter, and 1982 to 83. All featured warmth and less snow than normal. Other global factors that could influence the winter outlook are the polar vortex and other patterns in the North Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. For your news leader, I'm Jacob Morse. Well, for those of us who live here, it appears to be good news. It looks like, the, uh, as Jacob just mentioned right there, Mike, it, it, it doesn't mean we're not going to have Arctic air. We do every winter. It's just that it won't be so prolonged. It won't seem like it goes on the entire year like we had last winter. 